In this video, we'll take a look at a pivot table option called Show the Values Row. And we'll see why sometimes if you turn this on or off, it doesn't seem to change anything. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this workbook, we have some sales data and I've built a very tiny pivot table here with one row field and one value field. Right now, this is in the compact layout. And I'm going to just change that so we can see the headings instead of row labels. This pivot table has a heading row that just shows item and sum of quantity. So I don't see anything that looks like a values heading. Now, if I add another item here, let's put color in as well. So now we've still got a single row of headings here, item, color, and sum of quantity. And if I go into the pivot table options and on the display tab, put a check mark here, nothing happens. There's no extra row that appears. I'm going to make another change to this pivot table and I'll put in another value field. I'll put cost in. And now we've got a couple of row fields and we've got two value fields and now there's a new heading row that says values. So now if I go back into my pivot table options and remove this check mark, that values row disappears. So we'll put it back and see it again. So it's just a heading that says values and it's above the other headings. And if we look over here in the pivot table field list, we can see values here. So it's showing us that we have multiple values and it's combined them here. So we could move those to the row area if we wanted to as a group. Values becomes a heading in this row. And if I move it back, now it gets its own heading and that's what we're turning on or off. So that heading appears if you have multiple value fields and at least one row or column field. I could take one of those out and we still have values. I could move this up into columns and we can still see values there. But now if we look, values is on the same row as color. So what happens now if we try to turn that off? Go to display, remove the check mark, and it's still there. The only time this can be removed is if it's in a row by itself. Now if I move color back into rows, that value row disappeared because it was the only item left in that row. I'll turn it back on just so we can see. Show the values row and it comes back. So to make the values row appear, you have to have at least two value fields. Then you can hide it as long as it's on a row by itself. If there's another field name in that row, it can't be hidden. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.